public speaking skills is one of the essential skills that you need to boost your career, your personal life, your professional life, or whatever you do, whether you're a business owner, entrepreneur, you're leading an NGO, or even you're a religious leader, you need this skill to tell your story, to make an impact, and to create opportunities for other people. Today, I'm here to share with you five essential tips that can help you to boost your public speaking and confidence. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa. If you are listening to me for the first time, thank you. But also, share this, subscribe, and follow me for more. So the first tip that I want to share you with is you need to know your audience. Most of the times, we want to speak and we feel like, oh, I'm experienced in this field. So you don't even take time to know your audience or the people you are speaking to. This is something that a lot of speakers do. So to be a good speaker, you need to take your time, analyze your audience, know who they are, what they want, what your presentation can help them with. So if you're able to do this, question all this. Question yourself and ask yourself questions like, what am I going to deliver? What are the expectations of the audience? At the end of this presentation, what should they achieve? Who are they? What, what is their age limits? What is their income level? And if you are able to answer all these questions, you are better going to prepare for giving a wonderful presentation. Because if you are speaking to primary school kids, it's different from speaking to university students. If you are speaking to corporate executives, then you know that there's going to be a difference between short floor workers and CEOs. If you are speaking to entrepreneurs, you know how to prepare. And you are, if you are speaking to experts in a particular field, you definitely know that the preparation will differ. So understand your audience, do audience analysis, and deliver your presentation strong. The second thing I want you to appreciate, when you take the mantle to say you want to speak in public, is you need to practice. Practice is key. If you don't practice, you will never be effective. So the more you practice, the more you understand some of the things that you are supposed to do to touch your audience's heart. So practice is key. Imagine you're going to play a football match. And you don't take time to practice. Definitely, you are not going to play well. So it's the, the same applies to public speaking. The more you practice, the more you better know your delivery. And you better give a better presentation. So practice is key. So the next time you want to go to, uh, go and speak in any platform or to any audience, learn to practice. You can practice with your phone. Practice by recording yourself and deleting it several times to get it uh, in sync with your presentation. You can equally practice by inviting a demo group, maybe your friends, family, your classmates, your office uh, colleagues at office, and you practice in front of them. You get familiar with your content, and also you are in the space of speaking. Then number three, the third thing you need to know, the third tip I want to share with you, which is very dear to my heart, is the power of storytelling. You need to learn to tell your story. You need to learn to touch people with stories. Public speaking is all about stories, memories, experiences. So if you are able to master the art of storytelling, then you know you are going to be a better public speaker. So storytelling is key. Learn to tell your own stories. Learn to package and tell your own stories. And also learn to package and tell other people's stories. Your personal stories are your experiences that you've gotten, the challenges, the tough times, the successful moments in your career, the things you've seen. Those are the things that you talk about as your experiences, your knowledge, your experience, or whatever skill that you have. Then the, here comes the experiences of, of other people. Maybe you want to sell a product. That's the story of the product. You need to tell the story of this product so that your audience can get to understand it. Maybe you are a corporate executive. You need to tell your story in terms of the organization, the structure, and all the things you offer, the mission statements, the vision of the organization, why the organization. You need to tell this story. 
So whatever you do, whether you are pitching to NGO leaders, pitching to business executives, investors, you need to learn to tell your story. And most of the times, if you are writing a business proposal or plan, the executive summary, that is where your story is captured so that you can be able to get your audience in sync with your story. And the fourth tip that I want to share with you today is learn to do research before you speak. Research is key. It could be researching about your audience, your topic. Yes, your topic. What are you going to talk about? If you are going to talk about public speaking or maybe current affairs, you need to research to know what are the latest happenings in the industry. So research will help you to know your content and to better prepare for questions and answers. So the next time you want to go and speak, research. Ask questions. Call people. Even ask people who are also experienced in the field that you are going to talk about to tell you the latest trends that you need to what? imbibe in your presentation. The final one I want to talk about is the power of body language. Learn to use your body language effectively. Body language is key. If you are not able to use your body language very well, I'm telling you, you are not going to make an impact in your presentation. For example, if I want to talk about two, and I say five, I do this, two, that's five. If I go to speak and I'm not smiling, people will not get in sync with me. But your eye contact, the way you move on stage, can all distract or make your presentation a great presentation. So these are the tips that you need to follow to be able to speak effectively in public. So I want you to know it's possible. You can speak of power. So go practice, do all that you can do. But above all, start to create opportunities for you to speak. If you like this, if you follow this, thank you very much. If you also want specific trainings, maybe one-on-one -on -one training for you or training for your team, your volunteers, your executives, your group, whatever that you want the training for, whether it is online or offline, my team will be ready to do that training for you. I believe in you. There's a contact that you can reach out to me. Thank you very much. Thank you for sharing this. Leave your questions. If you have any questions, leave them, and I'll be able to uh, answer your questions for videos. Thank you very much. I believe in you.